Ouf. Oh, mais I can't even tell you there. Si c'est pas sale, c'est pas bon. Gato de Bateau is a Haitian that moved to Miami, that I started it, you know, freestyling in the streets because that was the only time where I didn't stutter. So my friends thought it was a good idea for me to, you know, like keep doing it because when I rap or when I freestyle, like you can't tell if I stutter or Bob Jam was in Biggie, so. Missions for l'argent, jump out the car with a boy like a satan. They may your less say come see your web bonté. Let me do your freeze, Mr. T, caca voye, caca voye, tout moun a te. And I got the name exactly from the streets of Little Haiti. It was my homeboy, Filippo brother, who I started with, and he was like, yo, everybody call you a boat. We're gonna call you Bato, but the first name gotta be Gato, because whenever you rap, it always sounds so good. It's like it's a piece of cake, like people just wanna eat it. So that's how we came up with the name Gato the Bato, right down 5, 6 in Little Haiti. I got started in the music game just by always being around the music and by me having a love for music from listening to Compa to guys like La Wolves and I like voodoo music like Azo. So it's like I got all the styles and all the lingos and like I said, music was a big part of me doing what I'm doing and, con and coming up because it helped me with my speech pro problem. As you can see, like sometimes when I talk, I stutter, but if you listen to me on a record, like you will never know if I stutter if I have some kind of problem with talking, you know, so music has been good to me. Like I like writing, I like thinking outside the box. But when I do music, I'm able to travel. Like I can go deep into my head and just go like create a whole new world or a whole new dimension. It's everything to, to me. Man, I swear to God that shit is insane. Tell them come on, come on. I wonder why the fuck they taking so long. Why so long? Honest and loyal, because if I have to be around somebody where I have to lie or act like somebody else, then it's like I'm not even being with myself. And as you can see, me, I don't have a lot of friends. I'm not the type to fake in the phone. You know, it's either you're gonna keep it real or you're not. Like there's no middle lane or where on a lie, man. No, pas vraiment ensemble. C'est où soit on va nous tout ensemble ou soit nous pas ensemble même. That's how it is with me. It's either I'm with you or I'm not with you. And loyal because I don't fear no man, so I have no reason to lie to nobody. Growing up from Miami, coming straight out of Haiti, and growing up in Miami was a challenge, but it was the best challenge for me because God already know, like, he won't give me a challenge if he know I can't stand it or defeat it. So I was up to the challenge because I had to learn the language and learn the hoods, the culture, because, you know, like, coming from Haiti, America is a whole different monster, you know, like, uh, the same Haitians in Miami who you think gonna be the ones that's gonna be there to help you and support you, they're gonna be the main ones that's ready to kill you and trying to drag you down or destroy you, you know? So I had to learn very quick that I had to be Salah. Everything. Because without Haiti, I wouldn't be here. My mom would be here. Being a Haitian is like one of the proudest things to me. So when I hear people sometimes like they downgrade the Haitian Ness is like, yo, what are you doing, bro? Like, you a Haitian. You're supposed to be proud to be a Haitian. It doesn't matter where you were, where you go. Represent for the culture and just make sure that you do what you gotta do. But to me, being a Haitian is everything. Everything. I won't have it no other way. Madness. Because I think until we have a Haiti where you can hold the people at the top accountable, then we don't have a country because you can't have a country where you're trying to tell me that all the criminals are the poor people. And the poor old people, like, don't have money to buy guns. They don't even have money to eat, but they got guns, you know, and they got safe houses and they got cars to do all type of stuff. So you can't tell me it's just the poor people that's committing the crime. Until we have a Haiti where we can hold those on top accountable for their mistakes, for them stealing, for them lying to the people, then it ain't gonna ever change because you can't tell me that only poor people go to prisons in Haiti because, like, rich, developed countries, everybody get holds accountable. Presidents, senators, Haiti ain't like that. You can be a senator and, and they know you stole a hundred million, but it's like, well, it's Haiti's no more. And that's not right. I mean, I can't even tell you that because I'm proud of all of them. But I can say, like, the very first single that I ever released was Na Miami. That song there it was just like, because it was amazing because I did it to like some kind of like old Haitian song. They remixed the beat and I did, did the song 
but that the time I never thought that people was gonna even pay it no man, you know it's all in Creole. But at the end, it came out to, to be that song where everybody that hear it, even though they understand Creole, they didn't understand it, they said that flow there is dangerous if you can keep doing that. So I can say like that was the first song where I felt like, okay, I can do something there. So I can say that's one of my favorite. And that's also the first video I ever shot too. So. The EP is coming real soon. I'm working on it, it's finishing right now. So we're just trying to put the last finishing touches on it. Then it should be a well soon, but I ain't gonna give you no date yet. Oh, I don't know yet. I think it should be in the works, but like that's all that's all up to the fans. You know, if they like it, they gotta say they like it and just enjoy it and just bombard them with comments saying, yo, we need a video for 31. You know, because they already know. Si c'est pas sale, c'est pas bon. Hypocrites, people that act like they with you, but they're not really with you. Like people that got secret agendas. It's like if you with me, you with me, bro. If you ain't with me, you not with me. Then it's better for me, so I can know how to move on forward. You know. <laughs> Baby Draco, I probably put like a silencer on it. <laughs> this year, the biggest project that I'm working on is myself. Like trying to become a more better person, like a more better. Role model to the younger Haitians that's coming after me, that's looking up to me, that listen to my music and that's the way I move, you know, so they can understand that it's not easy, but it's not hard at the same time. You just gotta believe in yourself and go. I love them, man, you know, like, to the ones that I know, the ones I don't know, like, all over the world, like, they already know I love them. They already know, like, the style is the style. And they already know, like, once I'm, once I'm doing something and I'm doing it for them, I'm doing it because I like it, I enjoy it, and... That's all it is, man. And make sure you get an education. Like, you don't got to go to college, but at least know how to read and count because that's one of the main problems that we have right now in Haiti because, like, the basics we don't even have, like, the, the basic reading, the basic writing, the basic speech, like, it became a problem because it's hard to have a conversation about bettering yourself or bettering the whole community or the country and if there's like a gap between the comprehension and understanding of the, you know, the, the language, the education, you know? So better yourself, educate yourself, believe in yourself and love yourself. Sally, sex, alcohol, and l'argent. Because I come from a place where that's very dark and it's like, People like me don't get a lot of chances to really be themselves and explain themselves. So I already know that I will have to create something that I know only I will feel comfortable using it. Because when when I started using the word silent in my songs in Creole, a lot of people told me that ain't gonna work. Oh, but Napoli, Mitika Mei, Kekab di tout kalite vie betis. And they understand what I'm saying, so it's like a problem. So I told them, I'm gonna really be sal now. And look at that. It worked. Like I say, believe in yourself. Sal.